My whole life I've been trying to understand every Catholic grandmother's living room and now it makes sense. We were gonna wait in line to go see the inside of the Vatican, but I mean, this is a long line. And usually when there's a long line, there's something fun at the end of it. This, I would just feel more guilt, so we'll just stare at it from the outside. This is like if Six Flags wasn't fun. Oh, th that's the other thing too, is like, it's weird coming from New York when you come into the Vatican, I'm like, why does it feel like Times Square? Because as you're entering into the Vatican, everyone's like, do you need tickets? Do you want this? Blah, blah, blah. Bus ride, I'm like, bus ride? It is impressive, isn't it? I mean, if you look at it, it's like, I mean, I, look, I would love to be wearing a dress all day, sitting on a throne, making demands. I mean, it would be great. But look at this line. I mean, this is a long ass line. It's the other thing that doesn't make sense about Italy is that this morning we woke up and it was 61 degrees, and then it says, well, it's gonna be 85 today. <laughs> Come again? I don't know what else to comment on. I guess I didn't, I never, I haven't been, there's lots of columns. Um, it's just a lot of weight. And that's the thing is like, I have so much Catholic guilt. I'm Italian, Mexican, and Irish. So I'm the trifecta of Catholicism. I feel guilt for every, when it rains, I'm like, yeah, that's something I did. They have these priest calendars and it's like hottest priests of 2022. And each page is a different priest and how hot they are. And I'm like, you know what? When do we get the hot nun calendar? So I went to art school in Italy and I remember we took a day trip to Rome and so I just brought my sketchbook and I sat there all day just drawing everybody. And I remember this like Brazilian student, he was probably the same age as me, he was probably like 19. And he came up and he was watching me draw him, so I was just drawing him. And then we didn't, I didn't speak any Portuguese, he spoke no Italian, he didn't speak any English. So we were just trying to communicate through like Portuguese Italian. And and uh, I drew him, and that might have been the gayest thing I've ever done. I, we were on a date, for sure. I mean, we were flirting. I wonder what he's doing now. It reminds me of like Star Wars Episode One, the really bad one, The Phantom Menace. Doesn't it just remind you of that, The Phantom Menace? By the way, someone just sneezed, and I didn't say bless you. You know, you're in the Vatican, sneeze all you want. No one has to say bless you. Also, we're in a different country right now. If I was a kid and lived in that castle, every morning I'd wake up and just find a well. I'm wishing for someone else. Actually, no, I would be the queen. Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fa- You know she didn't say mirror mirror, she said magic mirror. Chris, I think I fooled them. They thought I was from Italy. This is spaghetti. Ok, non l'ho mai sentito. Scusa, ma per un americano questo è troppo... È figo, eh? Vedere una persona che vuole fare la pasta a mano così, no? Eh, non parla italiano. Eh, ok. Ok. Scusa. I'm not kidding you. My best friend Bob the Drag Queen would love this. It has to be probably a little longer. But this is like a hat, some glasses, some boots. Bob. Oh my god, look at this. Every old Italian man is just... The day that you purchase this hat, you're like, that's it? I'm old, I'm sitting at a bench, and I'm bitching about my wife. Salve. Ciao, buongiorno. Ciao, yeah, posso? Questo è... Stai mangiando non è il parmigiano, eh? Questa mm. è una giallina. Sempre di mucca, però fatta sulle acque. Questo invece è il parmigiano. Poi te lo mettiamo sotto vuoto, sotto vuoto non ha problemi di frigo, eh? Dove venite? Io sono da New York. E sono sotto vuoto, assaggia pure questo che fanno. <ride> è il pecorino di Roma, eh? Questo è il pecorino no, romano? No, questo è sempre pecorino, ma non quello per fare la carbonara. Ah. Questo è quello per fare la carbonara. Che cos'è la differenza? L'animale è uguale, dipende da come lo stagioni e da come lo lavori, no? Mm. Quello è un pecorino semi stagionato, poco poco. Questo pure è stagionato poco, ma sotto sale. Mm. Quindi c'è il sapore più, vedi, questo è il kit di Roma. Questo è perfetto per una carbonara o alla gricia, no? Eh, ci può fare la carbonara, la gricia, la cacio e pepe senza guanciale. Eh. E per un parmigiano grande così quanti costa? Perché qui in America... Dire, guarda, un triangolo così, questo viene 36, 34,90 il chilo. Questo è mezzo chilo, su 18 euro. <ride> Perché questo a New York, tu vuoi sapere quanto costa? Questo è eh, 50. Quanto? 50 euro? Allora metto sotto vuoto, portane 5-6 pesi, te lo rivendi a New York. Sì, però no? devo pensare perché non c'è lo spazio sul mio... Non sei questo, non ti porti. 
Most people look at this and think, oh, isn't this wonderful? A spoon with some ingredients. Italian children look at this and say, this is a weapon. This has been used against me many, many times. Nana's come here. This is, this is they're selling weapons here. <laughs> I wish it tasted that good. So this is where Julius Caesar was stabbed, and now it's a cat sanctuary. So it went from the most historic place in all of Rome to a bunch of people being like, look at how cute they are. Man, look at them, look at the cats. Look at this cat. This cat could give two shits. You think they hang out? You think they know that this is where Caesar died? And also, how did the cats get here? How do they know not to leave? Who's feeding these cats? This is one thing that Rome and New York have in common is that construction never ends. Is this facing the right way? By the way, there's no emergency. They just, they're just they just dramatic. So this is the... Not huh, a fly on me again. How are they over here? So this is what the Italians call the giant typewriter, but because Gen Z doesn't know what typewriters are, I guess it, I guess it could be the giant Nokia. Actually, I don't even think they know what Nokia's are. This, to Gen Z, this is the iPhone 13 Max Pro. Like my version of Rick Steves or Rick Stevens. What is his name? Rick Steves or Stevens? You know Rick Stevens, the guy on PBS was like, and now we are in ancient Rome, back in the Roman days. My version is like, this reminds me of Sailor Moon. This reminds me of the battle on the moon when Queen Beryl came in. You guys are good. We're talking about Sailor Moon. Yes, you put us by I thought we were in the one place in Rome where people weren't going <laughs> Basically what I'm saying is my version of Rick Stevens is like, oh, this reminds me of the fight with Queen Beryl on the moon in Sailor Moon. So as someone who is currently losing their hair, but I just got surgery, now the Julius Caesar haircut makes sense. He was balding. That was Bosley for men back then. Honestly, she better work. Hi, I'm Rick Steves, and welcome to my tour of Italy. Behind me is the Olive Garden. I don't even know really what to say. Like, it's so impressive. I had to, I'm attacked by flies in that cologne I hate. He's wearing that cologne. I mean, you know, it's really... That child could drive. I mean, what do you say? It's so impressive. What do you say? Do you think Celine Dion is inside singing? <laughs> so this is the gay bar of Italy. The gay bar. Right by the Colosseum. Also, it's very fitting that right outside of the gay bar is where they used to hold the lions for the Colosseum fights because I often feel like I'm in a lion den when I'm at a gay bar. This statue is basically my Instagram from 2018. Feel free to scroll down. I'm conscious of how I eat. Bye.